In this video, we're going to look at solving the equation 3x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 5 using the quadratic formula. Before we can use the quadratic formula, though, it's very important that the equation equals 0. We must make this equation equal 0 first by moving the terms either to the left or the right side. As we move them, generally we like the squared term to be positive. So because the 3x squared is bigger than the 2x squared, let's move everything over to the left side. To do that, we'll subtract 2x squared from both sides. We'll subtract 6x from both sides. And we'll add 5 to both sides. That way, the right side will completely subtract out to 0. On the left side, 3x squared minus 2x squared is 1x squared. 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. And 8 plus 5 is 13. Now that the equation equals 0, we're ready, we're ready to use the quadratic formula that x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. As we do this, we remember a is the number in front of x squared, b is the number in front of x, and c is the constant term after the equation equals 0. So plugging those into our equation, x is equal to the opposite b, or positive 2, plus or minus the square root of b, negative 2 squared, minus 4a, which is 1, c, which is 13, all over 2a, which is 1. Now we just have to simplify this expression to find our two solutions for x. I usually simplify the exponents and the multiplication in one step because we won't violate any order of operations as we do that. This gives us 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 13, which is 52, all over 2 times 1, or 2. Finishing the subtraction inside the radical gives us 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 48, all over 2. We can't take the square root of negative 48 perfectly, so what we'll do is we'll see what we can simplify inside this radical by factoring the 48. One thing we also notice is that because it's negative, we're going to be pulling an i out of the radical. 48 is 4 times 12. 4 is 2 times 2. 12 is 6 times 2. And 6 is 3 times 2. And what you might notice is we have a pair of 2's that can come out, and another pair of 2's that can come out, which is a total of 4 coming out, with a 3 left behind in the radical. So for our final answer, we have 2 plus or minus 4, i, which accounts for the negative, times the square root of 3, all over 2. Again, we want to see if we can reduce the fraction. However, we must be careful that we cannot just reduce out the 2's because of the adding and subtracting in there. Before we reduce a fraction, we must first factor it. And the greatest common factor in that numerator is 2, leaving behind 1 plus or minus 2i root 3, all over 2. Now that it's factored, we can divide out the factors of 2, giving us our final answer of 1, plus or minus 2i, times the square root of 3. Again, to solve using the quadratic formula, it's important the equation equals 0 first. Then we can plug our values into the quadratic formula and simplify. If we can't take the square root, we'll simplify what we can with the radical, remembering that negatives come out as an i, and also simplifying the 2's times 2 to give us 4. Then when we want to simplify the fraction, we must first factor the numerator and reduce out the factors to get our final solution. 